Hey Karashi. Hey dude. Again, guys, welcome to the Koi Pond experience. Right now, we're gonna have a look see on my skimmer setup or the surface skimmer. So, there it is, it's working. You can see the bubbles on the surface of the water being sucked in into the skimmer. Water suction is quite strong on this one, yes! it really depends on your submersible pump and how strong it is. In my case, I'm using the Periha. It's uh, 25,000 liters per hour. PD 2500, I think is the model. What's nice about this uh, mountain tree surface skimmer is if you don't want the skimmer to function, you can deactivate it in a simple manner as this. Okay, come on. Yeah. Skimmer is off. Let's give a close-up on the brand of the service skimmer in honor of Mountain Tree. There it is. <laughs> so when it's fully open, the vortex created is not so obvious. But if you do some adjustments, there. The vortex created is quite nice. It looks nice. <laughs> and I think it's actually quite strong actually, if you keep it half open. If you want me to make more videos like this, Please comment below, click the subscribe button so you'll know when a new video from me is available. Oh yeah by the way, I did a good brushing of this a while back. Right now it's very clean as you can see. However though, under regular circumstance this will be very dirty. Full of poop and some algae as well. So this is the upper part the basket that's removable. This is the key to progress of this device. <laughs> Let's put it back. Once it's very clean, it spins around quite fast. So fast. Look at that. Once again, I'm going to show you how, how it looks like when it's off. There. Now, let's activate it back. There it is. And the angelfish don't like it. I don't know why. Maybe they have some eggs here. <laughs> okay guys, so that's it. I'll give you a look-see on the skimmer. If you have any questions, just comment below. Have a good day ahead of you guys. Yeehaw!